Welcome! I have been wanting to talk about this topic for some time. Oftentimes, whenever there's a disaster or current event going on, we fund it. But how much of that money is actually going to the disaster and how much of that money is going into this organization's pocket? So that is what we are here to look at today. I'm going to look at the money amassed versus money donated in charities. Um, this is a really important topic to me because a lot of nonprofits tend to improperly log their money as well as improperly fund um, based on money amassed. Um, but without further ado, I would like to say that this is like not, I have no intention of making you fear funding nonprofits or funding a charity. I do, however, want to give you the tools to positively discern whether you are you know, giving to the right charity as well as whether you are being swindled by a charity. So without further ado, um, let us get into that. But to support this, I will be showing percentages as well as going over an example of um, a nonprofit that improperly logged and funded as well as a, finally, <laughs> to give you the tools as well as the knowledge and discernment to be aware and also self-sufficient when you know figuring out if there are any fraudulent behaviors and spending in a nonprofit organization so again without further ado here we are i'm going to start with numbers today which can be jarring but don't be alarmed i will make it tangible and easy to understand so charities reported 13 percent of operating public charities reported spending nothing on spending management and general expenses of the remaining 87% of charities that are spending on general expenses, um, management, and regular old spending, there are 75% to 85% who are improperly logging grant money, meaning they're getting money, but they're not logging it correctly. Uh, this is really important to me because it's very evident in our example today, which I will be going over now. So we were all present 2021. Eric Garner swept the nation when police took his life. Black Lives Matter as well swept the nation and eventually worldwide. I mean, we had the Amish coming out. So this is important because Black Lives Matter in 2019 reportedly made 90 million in donations and has over 40 million in assets. Uh, this was reported by the New York Times, but recently was caught purchasing a $6 million mansion in Southern California. Now they claimed that they were buying this as a form of, you know, marketing for any rappers or artists who wanted to come and further the Black Lives movement. Uh, Black Lives Matter movement, but um, they also reported that it would eventually be a safe place for, you know, anyone who had death threats, etc. Which to me, um, you know, I consider wouldn't buying a warehouse be an easier decision. You know, it would probably be easier to get permits than in a residential area for a safe space. Um, as well as, you know, it would probably be a larger location to get a warehouse and cheaper really than a mansion because you're paying for the amenities really and the uh the luxury not the space <clears throat> personal opinion but i do want to move on uh that's just one example of a company that i believe improperly logged and improperly funded um there's no way that that should be written off as a donation expense they should pay they should come out of pocket um but lastly, I do want to give you the tools. So I do want to say that if a company has a hundred thousand in you know funding or two hundred fifty thousand in assets and up, then they are legally uh, permitted to have Form nine nine zero on their website. If not, you can ask for a financial audit. It's legally your right. Um, if you can't find any of that, there is a app called GuideStar, which you can research any nonprofits or charities. They'll have their funding information on there. Um, all of this will be linked below, by the way. But um, yeah, I think the one thing that I do want to say, though, is the financial is not always the important part. Um, something that was really important that was discussed with me was myth overhead. So a lot of times it's not about the funding. It's about transparency governance, leadership, 
and results. These are the things that you need to look at. Are they being, you know, transparent about their leadership, about their governance, about the results that they're doing, about where this money is going, what they're doing with the money after it's done. One thing I love about Move On, they say we're, you know, we need this money to put up billboards. This is what we're doing with the money. Um, so in conclusion, I'm glad that we got to go over some percentages, some examples, as well as to, you know, kind of get those tools to discern for ourselves. Um, hopefully you guys learned why it's important to research where you're putting your money as well as, you know, where you're donating to. And I hope that you guys learned everything you needed. Um, everything will be linked below for tools. And if you feel like you want a deeper conversation about this, I can post a longer video to give you like a more in depth, but, um, I hope that you all learned everything you needed to, but I do have one question. Do you believe that that $6 million mansion should be a write-off? Let me know. Let me know. Have a good day. As well as that is the cutest fucking squirrel. Oh my God, you're so cute. I love you. You're so cute. You're so cute.